In the last unit, uh, you heard about what we're going to do in this course, in part one of the course. Now I'm going to talk very shortly tell you what still remains for the second part of the course, for NAN to Tetris part two, that is not currently offered. Well, in the first part, in this course, you're going to start with very simple NAND gates, as you've heard, and you get all the way to a working computer system on which you can run any program, for example, Tetris, that gives this course a name. So what remains? What are we going to do in the, in the second part? Well, the question is really the kind of programming that one does on that computer. In the computers that we're going to finish building in this course, you're also going to build a computer language that you can run on it, but it's a very low-level assembly, assembly language. If you look at the assembly language, it does not look nice. It's certainly not what you start using in programming 101 courses. It's a very low-level language, very inconvenient. Most programmers, they really want to work with a high-level language, something like this, the example, that is very, very typical of what you see in an introduction to programming course. So the kind of things that you have in such high-level language includes a rich language, loops, data types, methods, abstraction, many things that do not appear in the assembly language that is the end of this course. Also, there are very high, many high-level operations, for example, mass operations, for example, input and output operations that are primitive and are expected by any programmer that wants to write to print hello world and expect hello world to appear on the screen. And in fact, in the second part of the course where we deal with the software hierarchy, this is exactly what we're going to implement. We're going to present a high-level language called Jack, and we're going to write a compiler to it for it uh, using several layers of abstraction, of course, because that's a complicated thing, building a, a compiler. Similarly, we're going to build a standard li library and, in fact, a mini operating system that gives you all the high-level services that programmers expect. Once you have these two things, then you're basically at the, say, at the starting point of an introduction to programming course because you have a high-level language that you can use normally, and now uh, this hopefully closes all the gap between the base, very basics of how computers are built all the way to how the programming language and operating system and standard library that you expect to get as a introductory computer programmer. Uh, as we said, uh, part two of NAND to Tetris is not yet offered. We plan to offer it in the future, but if you cannot wait, it's already uh, ready in the website and in the course book. Uh, in the next unit, we just uh, want to talk, to, we will tell you a little bit about the first project, or actually the zeroist project, which just wants to make sure that you're up to date, you found our website, you know how to submit exercises for, uh, in Coursera, and uh, once we finished with that, the next week we actually start with building the computer. <laughs>